Hello everyone, today we're gonna go through a couple quick cards that we made in class. So this is one of the cards and all we used for the edges around here, it's this background stamp and a green ink and I already have done mine. So this is from this stamp set here. It's called Timeless Textures and it's just this one right here. Uh, which is really kind of nice, especially when you're stamping beginner. Makes it not so complicated and really easy to um, apply. So let's get started. Everything again comes in the kit. I'm gonna leave this here. Let me double check that I'm in the picture. Perfect. Okay. So we start with this green paper, which pretty much goes in the center of the gray one and then you're gonna laugh um this was actually a card um, from a different set but we covered this up so here's a little trick uh, this is your regular um, card base and let's say you have stamped something in there that didn't turn out or you change your mind um, the beauty is you can always just bend it over the other way. Now your inside is clean. You can stamp it again and you cover up the outside. Simple as that. So whenever there's something that went wrong, wait to cover the front completely until you have your inside stamp. That's a trick we do in class. We stamp the inside first. If for whatever reason that doesn't turn out, you do what I just told you. You just flip it over, cover the front up, and try it a second time in there. And your card base is safe. So this was a thank you card that I converted. And we will cover this up really quickly. As you can see, this is the border stamp, and it doesn't really matter what it looks on the inside because we covered this up anyway. So we just sent this over our card and voila, nobody knew. Now that was something different at the beginning. And then I already stamped the inside. Um, this is one of my favorite sets and I don't think we have this anymore. But it was called With Heartfelt Sympathy. So there's a couple of really nice phrases on here. Um, if you want to look it up, you can check it. It's D1919. Just type it in in a search and maybe it's still available, but I don't think so. So this was a flower we stamped in gray. Just simple on white cardstock. And put this in here in the center. This lines up with the top and the bottom. And then we have this little uh, sympathy phrase. And yeah, I already put the bling on because in my card class, some people have a hard time with those itty bitty little rhinestones so i just do it for them so remember when we cut a fin you cut up as high as you want you go from one corner to the point and you go from the other corner to the point and there's your fin and now we adhere this to the great cardstock piece and you go like but wait a second we don't have the other fin cut no but I always like to do it this way because now I can better judge to leave a nice frame around this one okay there you go and now all that's left is put a couple foam dots on the back need a lot and what I did in the middle here I don't know if it shows on the video in the middle it's a little bit higher and I just doubled these up that way it gives you a little arch makes it more interesting so remove all the little covers 
one more. There we go. And we center this on our card. About here. And this card is done. Quick and easy. And you can do this with any phrase you have here for any occasion with any paper. So hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next one. Bye bye.